The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has, be, has taken delivery of innovation technology tools facilitated by the European Union Support to Democratic Governance in Nigeria, EUSDGN, in collaboration with Development Alternatives Incorporated, DAI. The tools, which include the Coalition and Returning Officers Management System, CRUMS, Election Results Management System, ERMS, Media Monitoring and Analysis Tool, and the Political Parties Financial Reporting and Audit System, PFROS, are intended to respond to specific challenges encountered in the implementation of election electoral activities, thereby bringing technology to enhance the Commission's operational effectiveness. Our ABS Abuja Bureau Chief, Ekwi Ajide, has the rest of the story. In his remarks, at the handover of the tools in Abuja, the chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoudou Yakubu, was full of phrases for the EUSDGN, which focused on addressing five thematic areas such as enhancing and strengthening planning and operational capacities, improving the Commission's internal communication and external engagements with stakeholders, enhancing the electoral institute's capacity for training and research, assisting in the improvement of legal and policy frameworks for the conflict of elections, and enhancing the development and incorporation of technological innovation. Innovations. According to him, the support to INEC under the EU SDGN Phase 2 covers the period 2022 to 2027, traversing two electoral cycles, 2023 and 2027, and includes support to the National Assembly and the Judiciary, political parties, the media, civil society organizations, and the promotion of inclusivity. The INEC boss said the Commission will closely examine the tools with a view to adopting or tweaking them where necessary to meet the immediate and emergent challenges in the conduct of elections. Professor Yakubu, however, reiterated that core electoral activities are still funded by the federal government of Nigeria as a sovereign responsibility, adding that it is the only funding from government that is received and administered directly by the Commission provided support towards capacity building, technical support, printing of non-sensitive reports and information flyers, and we are glad that today some of the tools developed in collaboration with the DAI have been handed over to the Commission. In Abuja, Princess Ilpi Ajide reporting.